As UPSers, our job is to transport our customers' packages from its origin to its destination. The equipment that we use here at UPS poses potential risks and hazards to our feet. Foot injuries have become more common. The best way to avoid these risks and hazards is to make sure we use our training and job methods every shift, the entire shift. When operating or interacting with equipment, all UPS employees are required to wear slip-resistant work boots with sturdy leather uppers in good repair. A pair of quality work boots are your first line of defense in protecting your feet and ankles. Did you know the foot and ankle is a complex mechanical structure made up of 26 bones, 33 joints, and over 100 tendons, muscles, and ligaments? We use every single part of our foot and ankle to do simple tasks like standing and walking. An injury to just one part of your foot or ankle will hinder your daily activities. Although the inexpensive boots may look the same as a quality pair, they are not cut out for the type of work we do. Quality made boots will not only protect your feet, but will reduce your overall fatigue and help prevent injury to your knees, back, and hips. Many of our foot injuries happen during the unload or load of our aircraft. There are many hazards to be aware of, whether it is topside or within the P-sections. When unloading the topside of a 757, make sure you stay in the safety zone of the K-loader while position three passes onto the bridge. Beware of worker congestion when removing position two. The employee working the door should be extra aware of the distance between the K-loader and the sill guard of the aircraft. Whatever lane you are pulling from should be the lane you pull from for the entire unload. Notice where the red line is and use that as your safety zone. Follow step unloading procedures and stay aware of raised locks. When you encounter a stuck can, do not attempt to yank it free. This is how majority of foot injuries occur. Always use strap locks to free a stuck can. Strap locks allow you to pull as a team while still maintaining a safe distance between your feet and the freed ULD. The first and last positions are often the heaviest. Sometimes you need to face the ULD to free it from its position. As soon as the ULD is moving, you should turn and face the direction you are pulling. This puts you at less risk of having the ULD move over your feet. P-sections are known for their tight space. When unloading the first ULD, be sure to send only two to three people up. Overcrowding in a P-section will lead to a lack of available space and inevitably an injury. Once the first ULD has been removed, Remain in the safety zone on the K-loader until there is sufficient egress to enter the compartment. P-section ULDs are typically heavy. Move the ULDs out of position with a smooth and steady motion. Remember, ULDs in the front P-section are rolling downward with the slope of the ramp. Stay in control or get out of the way. If you have to step back onto the K-loader, be sure to step into the safety zone before the ULD passes onto the bridge. Beware of worker congestion and don't hesitate to communicate.